Introduction Microsoft Excel is the most widely used spreadsheet application around the world that helps you analyze and organize data. Excel gained its popularity from its easy usability and multiple features. This video takes you through the basic concepts of Excel and its user interface. A worksheet in Excel is a single sheet or a page in Excel where you keep can store and manipulate your data. A workbook in Excel, on the other hand, can be referred to any saved Excel file. It can contain one worksheet or a collection of worksheets. When you open the Excel workbook, the first thing you notice is the Office button at the top left corner which gives you basic options like Open, Save, and Print. Right next to the Office button you will find the Quick Access toolbar which provides you shortcuts like Save, Undo, Redo, and so on. More items can be added to the toolbar by selecting the items provided in the drop-down menu. The ribbon interface provides us with a set of compact tools previously found in the menu bar and dialog boxes. Right below the ribbons you will find the name bar and formula bar. The name bar shows you the name given to the cell and the formula bar shows the data or the formula entered in the cell. Both of these make editing data in the Excel worksheet easier. In Excel data is entered in cells. Each of these cells are identified with unique name. For example the cell in second row and second column is called B2. B indicates the column name and 2 indicates the row number. The worksheet area is the space in which all the data is entered and consists of rows marked by numbers and columns marked by alphabet. A cell in the worksheet is a single unit like A1 or G20, a range on the other hand is a set of selected cells. The scroll bars at the bottom and on the right side allow you to view the data in the worksheet area which is not readily visible on the screen. The sheet apps at the end of the worksheet area enables you to toggle between different worksheets within a workbook. The status bar is visible at the end of the workbook and shows a summary of the selected cells like the number of cells, some of the selected cells and the average of the selected cells. Understanding these interfaces makes it easier for you to work with Excel.